actually I don't use any English name because my identity is Korean. I, I like that. Thank you very much. And actually, I'm an English teacher and I teach my high school students at Hanam High School. Um, frankly speaking, I'm not the kind of person who is innovative or something like that. I'm just uh, just every teacher, but I want to teach my students to well, you know, to express themselves, to know themselves. Because of that, I organize PEDEC events at my school, and after that, I enlarge the that scale and the city, and I make my students action, uh, act about their society, their neighbors. Yes, I am um, in the kind of things. I'm a kind of innovative, innovative people for a person, but um, I'm just an average teacher. Yeah, it requires me some patience and some money and the energy. Yeah, it, yeah, I need many things, but yeah, I think I can handle it. Thank you. So, what was the how, what was the TEDx event that you had at the school? How did it go? Yeah, um, as you know, in Korea there are so many students who want to be a top student. They just want to a uh, higher level of score and just want to get uh, much money or something like that. That's their goal of life. But I think it's not fair. It's not good. So, Whenever I have the chance to speak to them, I always say, you must find yourself and you must find what you like, what you want to do. Yeah. Because of that, I organize TEDx events. Um, my students believe that they want to make them uh, more, how can I say that? Um, yeah, more more famous or something like that. But uh, during the process, I want to make my students know themselves and express themselves in TEDx events. Yeah, that's my goal. Gotcha. Is it is it like um, a new way of thinking? What what what's the concept behind the thinking of the children? Like. Is it a social thing? Is it a social norm to want to be the best student, to want to make more money? Is it pressure from their family? What's the cultural basis of the of the pressure that's on the students? And you know, how are you trying to change that? I mean, in that sense, yeah. or are you making a change to it? Uh, actually, my students uh, always get nervous because of their score. Um, their parents expect them to be. Uh, Great, great students in the class. They always want to number one, want to be a number one student. But actually, um, I have 30 students in my class. I have, I believe there there are 30 kind of lives there. But they just want one kind of life, number one student. So yeah, I think. I want to make them believe their life is precious. Yeah, that's the point. What, what's what's behind that? Like from a personal standpoint, personal why standpoint. does it make a difference to you? Why do you care? Why? Yeah, like what what happened in your life that makes you want to think this way or whatever? Uh, actually, I think it's a kind of calling. I it's my duty. I must do that. I, I don't have any background. I'm just a Christian, and I think it's my job to make them believe they are precious. Yeah, because of that, I do that. So, is it is it you feel more of like a religious duty, yeah. or more than a? That's right. To get it done. So, you're, so your focus on helping the kids be more open, more expressive, finding their way. That's right. Is your way of fulfilling your calling to God overall? Yes. Exactly. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. And your name again? My name is Chung Yap Lee. Chung Yap Lee.